Hey groupies, welcome back to Form of Therapy. I am the channel producer and today we're checking out Pinwheel by the 17 Vocal Team. I am super excited for this. This is the last release in the Unit Project songs. Uh, we had, what was it? Let's see, we had The Leaders, we had Change Up, we had Trauma from the Hip Hop Team, and we had Samura uh, Chum by the Performance Team. We're gonna be checking out Pinwheel, Param Gebi. Y'all know how I feel about Tonglan. Y'all know how I feel about the vocal team. Now, I kind of wish that this wasn't going to be a ballad. Obviously, I haven't listened to the song, but I can already tell it's a ballad just based on the teaser image. But you know what? Let's just dive right into it and let's see what it's like. Oh. Oh, I already like the start to this. So the thing about, oh, Tonglan. Oh, Tonglan. Tonglan starting off a song? That's fucking gorgeous. I already love the color grading in this video. Okay, that one's a little bit off. That's one's okay. The previous shot was a bit desaturated, but these are oh, these are gorgeous. Oh. DK singing the bridge. That's interesting. Oh, Joshua getting the chorus. Woozy and Joshua getting the chorus. That's interesting. So I feel like they're going to switch off. Usually Chonglan and Joshua tend to switch off. So I feel like in the second chorus, Chonglan is going to sing Joshua's second chorus part. Oh my god, he's so beautiful! The cinematography in this is absolutely gorgeous. I love... I, I'll talk about it later, but I love the mood of this video. Okay, yeah, see, so Joshua's singing this part. So I have to assume Chonglan's going to do the chorus. You know, Sungwan is singing very lower than what he usually tends to sing. I mean, he tends to sing louder and he tends to belt out his notes. This song alone, like, I feel like everyone's just like sort of more muted and a lot more quiet than some of their other songs. Oh my god, he looks so good. Oh my god, Woozy, like, what the fuck? What's with the turtleneck? Oh my god, he looks so good! Oh my god! I don't know what's going on with Chongan's hair, but like, every era they keep changing it and it's fucking me up. Chongan with bangs. Chongan with bangs. Chongan with bangs! Oh. Turtlenecks. It's perfect for this fall season. Even TK, he's not singing like his usual crazy powerful self. Oh wow. Oh, come on. I'm getting sort of like JJ Project Tomorrow Today vibes, right? Like this song, I don't know, it's invoking something in me. Param Gebi. It's not over yet. Oh. Oh, the way he looks at you. Oh. 
Huh. Wait a minute. Like Jay Park says, hold up, wait a minute, girl, because I saw something at the end that kind of sparked something in me. This is called Before Alone, right? Before All One. Joshua with the phone. Wasn't Joshua in his teaser, wasn't he the one with the phone? And he was leaving that kind of corny message in English. I want to know how this all connects. I actually want to rewatch Ugo Shpjana with all of this in context now. Honestly, I was super miffed at the idea of yet another ballad song for the vocal team. Like, listen, I want another 20. Like, 20 was a great song. It's a great, catchy, poppy beat. And ever since 20, they have just only put out ballad songs. Like, vocal team has not had a non-ballad song. And all their ballad songs are fucking sad, right? And so it's like, I want to fucking cheer up, you know, I want to fucking... And so I was really hoping for a pop song, but it's not what we got. And I thought I'd be heavily disappointed by uh, yet another ballad song. Because here's the thing, I actually, I actually don't really care about Habit. Um, as a big fan as I am of Chongan, uh, I just, I appreciate Habit for Chongan's parts, but overall, I don't really vibe with the song Habit. It's definitely my least favorite song on the All One album. And honestly, Don't Listen In Secret is just as much. Like for me, I've never really vibed with the vocal team ballad songs. But this song, I'm actually vibing with a lot more. Maybe it's because the music video actually helps, but this video, I got like Tomorrow Today vibes from like JJ Project. It's got this feeling of nostalgia. It's got this feeling of like a cinematic uh, overtone to this song. Like. Maybe that doesn't make sense, but it's like the review I had for I Need Somebody by Day6. That song was so inherently cinematic, and this song as well is, I feel like, very cinematic. Now with I Need Somebody, the structure of that song was cinematic, but I think for this, it's not the structure that's so, that's so much cinematic, but it's so much the song itself, the vibe that I get. I'm immediately transported into this world, even though I'm watching a music video, I'm sort of getting my own personal attachment to this song. For me, this is like the calm before the storm or the aftermath. Like for me, this is the song that plays right before it's about to rain or after it's just rained. It's sort of like this cleansing, calming sort of song. And yet at the same time, it does feel inherently depressing, which makes me also think that it could be before the actual storm. Like this song is depressing, but not in the traditional sense. I don't, I don't know how, else to describe it, it sounds more like an OST than it does an actual vocal team release, which is why I actually like it a lot more. I feel like it doesn't follow traditional ballad standards, or at least what 17's ballad standards have been. This is a lot more cinematic. And I have to appreciate the music video here too. The music video, if you guys notice, the music video, this is their most cinematic music video of all of these Before All One videos. Obviously a lot of the videos like Change Up and Trauma were set videos. And then we had the performance unit, which was outside. And this was also outside too, but like, if you notice the differences, the performance unit one was shot very digitally. It looks like it was shot like on the go, on the fly. And it has to do with the cinematography. You know, this one has a lot of shallow depth of field, a lot more B-roll, and it sort of engages that kind of nostalgic feel because of it. The music video, what I really like about it is the fact that it looks like it was shot during certain periods of like, this is why I also get the rain vibes. The mood of this video, it looks like it was shot during the kind of weather when the mood is, it's about to rain. You know, when the clouds turn dark, you know, the clouds go gray and it's about to rain. Or it's like right after, you know what I mean? It's like the rain has stopped, but the clouds are still dark. It's like the skies are very gray. You know, there are some blue skies here and there I've noticed, but overall the vibe of this music video feels like it, it is this inherently depressing vibe. And, and it's not so much just about the color correction or how they shot it. I feel like they shot this maybe during actual times when it was raining or like right before it rained or they shot this early in the morning. Early, if you shoot early in the morning, you get these similar kind of vibes. And that's no surprise. Uh, I don't know if you guys are aware, in Korea actually, it rains a lot during the summer. As opposed to here in California where we just go through a fucking drought forever during the summer. In Korea, it's a very humid place and it rains a lot. 
so it's actually not too far out of the norm that they could have possibly shot this during a time when it wasn't raining but it was pretty close so i love the vibe and the aesthetic of this music video and i want to touch on the fact that the singers let me just get my chongan fanboying out of the way i love that chongan started a song it's so rare uh, for Chongan to start a song. I don't know if he ever starts a song, but it's so nice to see him start a song. I feel like usually it's um, Joshua that starts songs. Pretty You, uh, Habit, like I feel like Joshua is the song starter. But I'm glad that they got more line distribution. Well, not more. I feel like this was pretty evenly split, but Woozy still got the less of it. But then again, he had change up. But I feel like Chongan and Joshua got to do a lot more because I feel like DK and Sindan took a real big step back. And they did that with Urugu Shipiana as well. And I'm really digging that, you know? I'm sure Sokmin and Sindan stands are gonna be like, oh, you know, can we get like more lines for them? But I mean, if you think about it with Adore You, Mante, uh, Boom Boom and Pretty You, Aju Nice, you know, DK and Sengwan are the most strongest singers in Seventeen and they have always had the spotlight and I like that they're sort of sharing it, you know? I still think that DK probably had the most lines, I think, but it was evenly spread out and I think Joshua really got to shine. And I think that this song, what makes it so different from any other Seventeen ballad is the fact that Sengwan and DK didn't go on like this crazy like vocal prowess where they were like singing at the top of their lungs going like ah! you know like i feel like sungwan sings very passionately sungwan she na 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 like he sings really really passionately and dk does the same thing but he also goes really really high as well but they didn't do any of that in the song the song was very muted it was very held back it was very close to the vest and i really enjoyed that i feel like it gives this song a lot more of an emotional weight and charge to it almost, you know? Especially because I feel like even though this is a ballad, this is very different for the vocal team. Anyways guys, what did you think of the pinwheel release by Seventeen's vocal team? Did you love it? Did it not live up to your expectations? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you go ahead and click like down below? It'll actually help us out a lot. And if you're new here, why don't you go ahead and consider subscribing? You can see more videos like this in the future by go ahead and clicking here. Also, if you want to see more videos like this now, you can go ahead and check out our previous 17 reactions over here we reacted to change up trauma uh, uh you can see all that there anyways i'll see you guys next time and tune in for the 17 project chapter 2 release